Hi guys, hope everyone is doing very well. We are taking a close look at Zodiac Moon Reading Cards by Patsy Bennett, Rockpool Publishing, recently released deck. It's a total of 36 cards set with a guidebook. This is what the overall box will look like. Very large one piece solid shell box, which is very protective for your set. Now this is more like the other two decks I have, which are more reading cards using astrological symbols. I think they complement each other and bring things together. Um, quick read at the back to give you a further indication of what these cards are about. Overall, they are reading astrology cards to help you navigate in your life. They're not really going to teach you so much in depth about astrology, but you know, they're reading cards that will bring bits of astrology, um, knowledge of astrology to you. The box is Magnetic Latch, and opening, you're presented with this very large, beautiful booklet. And I like the way you have this gorgeous sort of like wheel of the zodiac as well. You could see there the magnet. So overall, the presentation is very nice on opening the box. Again, you get the massive booklet there. You've got this beautiful sort of like zodiac wheel and, you know, great presentation. Now, um, the card section makes it very easy for you to take the cards out. You've got this sort of like cut section where you just pretty much place your hands in and you could easily pull the cards out, which is very convenient indeed. Overall, the cards are on the very large size. I know, not very large. They are large and they do come plain edge. I would say they're standard large oracle size deck. Overall, they are also quite fairly... Um, thin decks um i wouldn't say they're very thin just kind of like thin but that doesn't take away the overall quality of this deck the cards are laminated making them pretty uh, a pretty glossy set of decks uh, here is just an example to show you what it looked like you could see the gum how glossy it was at the back of the deck it has to be my favorite the details of the design and symbols is absolutely stunning the purple the wheel the symbols of the sun moon along with the various zodiac is truly stunning and it's not every time we tend to appreciate the back design of a deck and you could see here the sort of like details i'm bringing it as close as i can yes you do see how glossy it is but you got to appreciate you know the details at the back which is fantastic the stock quality is also fantastic look here at the edge normally i panic with edges of car decks um this one is very durable as a whole this this entire deck is very durable and very impressive overall so quality absolutely amazing closer look inside the cards you will have the cards mansion on top to the left for each cards and an entire whole image borderless underneath you will have the keywords where it's um where the the, the card or whatever symbols is being pushed portray sits on the zodiac wheel the corresponding sequence of numbers overall the cards are in numbered order so let's take a look at the cards. We are starting off with the Zodiacs in the Sun. These are known as the Sun cards, are action cards. A total of 12 Sun cards. Our first six are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo and Virgo. These action cards in the readings... Um, we talk about taking the various proactive actions to get ahead in your life. So they will provide you various ideas. Now, even if you are not that zodiac um, symbol personality, it doesn't matter here because it's not about that, but more about using and applying the traits of that zodiac. Again, these are reading cards. The deck is broken into three sections. Here we're looking at the sun cards followed by the moon cards and then we'll have the eclipse cards. As you can see, it's very it's a very simple deck that illustrates perfectly the key words like here, sun in cancer, home, and again you've got somewhere in the Maldives. You've got the sun, a nice home, you've got um, focus on your home and love. And that's followed through nicely. I think the image nicely reflects. Here we've got the celebration, celebration taking place in Leo. Key word there is joy, sun in Virgo, and Dover. And then you have it there illustrated on the card. So it's very simple. So overall, this deck 
um, there's not a lot of deep learning. It's more of an awareness type of learning. So very simple deck, nothing too much in depth. And they look really nice. Again, our last six of the Sun action cards. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Again, beautiful overall sort of laminated design. So we have Sun in Libra, Harmony. Very nice card. Enjoy life with music, love, and romance. The card asks you to indulge in a little luxury or maintain peace and har harmony around you. Sun in Scorpio, very intense passion. One of the meaning is to maintain a level-headed approach to people. Sun in Sagittarius, stride out into new territory. Adventure card. One meaning is to is um, try reaching out, do something in a new way, a new approach. Now, mind you, these cards tend to, I'm, I'm just kind of uh, putting across two meanings out of the eight other meanings there are and different actions to take. Sun in Capricorn, a status speaks of a um, approaching things patiently, but also about being diligent is one meaning. We've got um, Sun in Aquarius, That's uh, that would be me. What I like here is not only does it talk about the proactive approaches, but you get to learn a little bit about your own sign. Now, it will not be like the Heavenly Bodies astrology deck that I did in a last video that will teach you astrology and you learn to decode. But, you know, this will kind of like provide you the basic understanding. It's just like you would sign up online to get like the free basic introduction of your sign. Now we're in the moon cards. We've got um, moon in Aries. Believe in yourself. Have courage in your abilities. And also to take the time to enjoy yourself, but also kind of avoid being, you know, bossy. Avoid the bossiness. Moon in Taurus, uh, self-esteem, personal growth, a time to establish a, a sense of security. So boost your self-worth. Moon in Gemini, um, should I stay, should I go, go? Uh, in decisions. It speaks of a time of negotiations or coming to a mutual agreement. I am a moon in Cancer, belonging. Um, speaks of building projects or deepening psychic and mystical experiences. Personally, for me, the cards are very accurate, both sun and moon as the basic. Moon in Leo, let your inner hero out about invest time in yourself, promote your abilities and celebrate your uniqueness. Moon in Virgo, keyword contentment. The chance to boost health and vitality leads to satisfaction. It's a good time to review your health practices and routines is one of the many meanings. Again, there is at least 10 different meanings covering relationships, work, general health. So there's quite a bit. Again, I'm only just giving you a little taste of what is in the book, even though it's one page, brief few paragraphs does tend to cover quite a lot. Now, um, the moon cards, the moon cards are our emotional circumstances. They're the cards, the, the category, the section of the moon cards, pretty much is the underlining in our situation. So these, um, in a reading, would speak about what is driving you, or what is motivating you subconsciously and emotionally in the current um, situation that you will be in. So say, for example, you did a reading and something is driving you to feel in a particular manner or way, or you've got some kind of problem with the issue. And the sun cards, which we, we know as the action cards, will provide you the various different ideas or provide you the various different actions to take to move from whatever it is that you're in or how you're feeling or maybe where you want to be and where you want to go. So you could see already how the action card, which was our sun cards, 
works with the moon card so now we have our last section of the cards which is the eclipse cards the eclipse cards are the turning point cards the cards in this category depicts the possible turning points so it can reveal why you are where you are what led to it how to navigate out what to look out for what's upcoming the cards here also encourages us to deep dive within to create the needed motivation with the help and of course combination of the sun and the moon cards overall this category provides you clear directions in summary of the three cards they're like this the sun cards provides clear directions the emotional uh, circumstances and response is the moon cards. What the turning point um, may be are the eclipse cards. So let's just say I have a particular wish, a dream. The sun card will provide the direction needed. Um, emotionally, what that means to me and what's going on subconsciously, the moon card will display and the overall timing past present the future direction will be the eclipse card of the look ahead what's past what's upcoming and you know the overall re-evaluation of what needs to be done so that's kind of like how you would use these within a spread categorize them and how overall you are going to use uh, these cards overall i think this is a nice introductory deck that covers the familiar zodiac signs and its influence over our core self you know the basic of what motivates you and who you are the basics of how the zodiacs corresponds with the 12 constellations uh, the sun being your core the moon covering and representing one's emotional reaction in life the emotional self the alignment of sun and moon creating the eclipse now together it provides a overall navigation of your life and the best way ahead now the question is is it any different from other astrology reading decks yes and no yes from a different perspective um, but it has that familiar approach and a lot more, I feel it's a lot more user friendly. So nothing is going to go over your head here. Um, so it's great overall for beginners. And that's pretty much what this deck is all about. So that is our three categories, sun, moon and eclipse. So now we're going to have to take a look at the um, guidebook. So when you open it up, this is Rockpool. I love the guidebooks. They put a lot of effort compared to all other companies. Everything is full colored. So, you know, you know what you're going to expect. You've got a nice sort of like introduction here, but let me show you the contents. Uh, again, everything is nice and clear. Fonts are great. You get your introductions and your various other different parts of the cards which is kind of like cut off and categorized so you see all the sun section the moon section and then on the other page you will see the eclipse uh, card sections so you've got your introduction here um, again talks a little bit about the cards um, what they are like and then you get a uh, bits of the astrological zodiac signs and here are the three categories that i've mentioned again it kind of like tells you what these categories are for the sun moon and eclipse so you know you get you get again basic understanding of the deck and then it will go on to kind of like uh, further explain the you know the z what the zodiac of these decks kind of like compromises of so i'll kind of go a little slow so that way you guys get to pause and get to read a little bit of the information so you get an idea for yourself what it says in the book we've got a section on how to use the cards again it's roughly about two pages worth it does uh, mention the various different the, the main four elements in there as well it kind of like breaks it up to you basic simple uh, for anyone who's sort of like getting into astrology and then we'll go into a spread section it's got the two basic spreads you've got a, a free card spread nicely displayed well written out well explained 
um, one, two, three, and then you'll get a Celtic sort of cross spread as well, which is nicely displayed, laid out, and every single card kind of like is explained to you. So, you know, you know how to use the spread, you know how you're going to use those cards. And it looks very clear and um, well detailed as well. So you could see, again, the book gives you a lot of information and makes it as clear as possible um, for you to kind of like get a go ahead and start using these cards if you're you know comp if this could this could be you know your very first deck so you know it's kind of user friendly and again it provides you a nice little sample reading exemplary of how to use both um, the cards and its categories and again you can pause and you could read yourself so that way you get a good little example of that and then once you've pretty much covered the spreads and explanation, you go straight into the parts that covers the meanings of each of those categorized cards. What I love is you get a full one page, uh, full colored image of exactly the, what the cards would look like. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, I would prefer it was a little smaller and more explanation, more summary of the deck itself. So you could see there, it's got the number, naming, and various different sections of the cards that will be highlighted there, like New Beginning, A Leap of Faith, it's all there. And I'll kind of leave it there for you to kind of read and get an idea and an example of what the meaning is like. Uh, um, when I did, when I was going through the card, I pretty much mentioned two meanings. And here will give you a rough idea as to the various different categories it covers and the various different meanings that the card can have. And it's pretty much repeated throughout. So with all of the other cards, it will pretty much be exactly the same. Numbered, keywords where the card sits or the zodiac sign of that and you get one full page of kind of like a various different meanings and summary and it's will be repeated out for the moon so what you had with the sun it's exactly the same for the moon cards and it will also be exactly the same for the eclipse cards as well full colored image one end and a full sort of like one side meaning so that is the book in itself very nice book, very simple, very clear. So, like I said before, how does this compare to the other two astrology reading cards that I have? So the, the Black Moon uh, reading cards, I feel, is a lot more detailed. It really covers quite a lot about the zodiac signs. It also, uh, what I love about it is it has the corresponding Toro as well which is kind of like nice to see. You've got the various different keywords and it will also cover the planets as well. So when you're doing a one card reading, you really are getting a lot of information here um, or of these cards. So I think this deck here, reading deck, is a lot more in depth. You can get quite a lot of information, but at the same time, you really are educate, educating yourself in astrology. Uh, the astrology reading cards, I think that's very, very basic, very simple. So this is why I think this one is kind of similar to the Zodiac Moon. It, the same, it's broken into three categories. You've got the Zodiac Planet, the Houses, and the Signs. The overall uh, card stock is pretty much almost identical. It has a little bit more information on there. But again, if you were to combine the Zodiac Moon and this astrology uh, reading cards together, I think they make perfect sort of like a, a perfect set where one will cover the house, the planets, uh, zodiac, which is the extra information. And on the other end, you'll have the sun, the moon and the eclipse. And, you know, I think um, together, these are great for beginners. I think they're really great to kind of like get you. It's like the opening door into astrology, just like the general basic. And you could see here within the book, it's exactly the same. You get one full color page and one full page of kind of like um general summary of what that card will mean so now we're just going to do a quick flip through so i'll give you another look and then we'll end the video
So there you go, guys. That was the Zodiac Moon reading card. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for the next one. Overall, I think it's a nice introductory card and it makes a great astrology reading deck overall. Take care.